Italian Factory presents the fan film programming language with Master Coder Steve Einan. In this video, we're going to look at quadcopters, and in particular, the Parrot AR drone. The end goal of this video is to make it fly autonomously and perform a few tricks, all using the Phantom programming language. If you've not used an AR drone before, I'll explain the control mechanism. The drone itself has an onboard microprocessor and runs Linux BusyBox. It uses this to read its various sensors and send output to its four motors. It also contains Wi-Fi hardware. When you turn the drone on, it sets itself up as a Wi-Fi hotspot, to which your computer connects. The drone and your computer use standard TCP and UDP protocols to send and receive data. In particular, the drone sends video feeds and navigation data, and your computer sends back configuration and movement commands. On our computer, we're going to be running a Phantom program, and we're going to use the Parrot Drone SDK library to send flying commands to the drone. The Drone SDK library is produced by Alien Factory and is one of the many libraries freely available on the Eggbox pod repository. A quick glance at the API shows that most functionality is centered around the drone class. While I can't deny there are a lot of slots on the drone class, note there are 9 methods of moving the drone and 9 event handlers, so once you take these into account, the drone class is quite manageable. Also note the Video Streamer class, that we'll be using to download video from the drone. Video Streamer requires the popular FFmpeg utility to convert the raw data from the drone to an easily playable MP4 file. FFmpeg is also freely available, just head to the website, click download and choose one of the pre-made builds. I've already downloaded it here and as you can see it's just one big executable file. For this demonstration we're going to use a fresh installation of Phantom. As you can see here we're using Phantom 1069 and it just contains the standard phantom pods. To install the Parrot SDK, visit Xbox and go to the summary page. Here you can copy the fanar command and paste it into a command prompt. Now when we list pods, we should see AF Parrot Drone SDK at the top of the list. As for the drone program itself, we're just going to use a simple example bundled with the SDK documentation. So let's just copy and paste that into a new file called simpleexample.fan. Now let's take a closer look at the program. The first part creates a new instance of the drone class and initializes it for takeoff. The clear emergency puts the drone into a normal state and flat trim tells it to calibrate whilst it's lying flat on the ground. Then we give the drone some information about its environment. We're actually going to use the indoor shell because the indoor shell has really big bumpers and I crash my drone a lot. The next bit activates the drone's front camera and records the video to an MP4 file. Then we have the actual flight plan. We're going to take off, do a backwards flip, hover for a bit and then land. Easy. But note that for accurate and precision flying, you need to have kept good care of your drone. This includes cleaning and balancing your rotors, and replacing any key mechanical parts with high performance variants. Now, did I mention that I crash my drone? A lot. As you'll see, this makes my drone rather, mm, how do we say? Unstable. Anyway, without further ado, let's heat up the drone, connect to its Wi-Fi, and let's fly. Taking off. I am Steve Einan, and that was the Parrot AR drone doing a flip controlled by Phantom. Thank you, and good night.